Hey friends and welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. You guys, I just had a little makeup on so ignore that. Anyway, you guys, we got to close out October's budget. So I'm going to pull out my Erin Condren uh, Deluxe here. Petite, excuse me. My Erin Condren Petite. Um, you guys, I did a little intro today. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, y'all. I'm back on the ball with my budgeting. Um, again, if you're new here, um, I'm Yoshida. This is Norris Cove. I budget in like three, four different places. It helps keep me accountable. I am a hairstylist, and my my income is very inconsistent at times. But that's why I have to plan and budget in several different places. You know, because it just works for me. That's what works for me. So, let's go into... Where should we budget? I normally budget with y'all in my um, deluxe, but I've been really um, enjoying budgeting in my Erin Condren. Let's see. Let me show y'all what the month ended like. So, today is Thursday the 31st. Right here. It's Halloween. Oh, I'm missing a little Halloween sticker. So, this is what all has gotten done. I guesstimated my income. Let me just take this out. You all let me know what you prefer to see me use. I like this, but I also like... This is like stays at home. This is on the go. Let me flip to... And here's our November overview. Have you watched the November budget video? You should. We're doing a giveaway. But I'm not going to keep begging y'all. So, I got it here. So, I'm just going to basically um, compare. So, let's just go ahead and close it out. Let me get out some pins here. Let me get out some white out. Do I need... Let's see. My markers. I like to, like, if I pay something... I color code so let me pull that out I don't know if this one is that um, let me see y'all excuse me I'm supposed to be prepared I'm just going to use this because I don't think that's the right one okay so I like to color wipe out whatever I pay so finally paid insurance my insurance was actually 28 28 oh slow down Yoshida 188.04. Let me just wipe this. I don't know why my insurance went down, but I'm ever so thankful because I was paying two. I had gotten up to 233 or 230. Yeah, 230. So we're just gonna cross through that. I didn't pay loan number one, which is to my hubby, y'all. I was going out of town. I got a little something extra. Just paid the cell phone bill. Whew. And I'm still behind. But I got a trick for that. I'm going to discuss with you guys. I just paid my cell phone bill today. I paid car insurance, which is normally the last thing I pay. Um, and I wanted to give my hubby, I have him down here, Israel. I wanted to give him an extra $200 because um, also if you're new to my channel or if you've never caught on or understood how I budget um, my husband pays the majority of the bills I pretty put much pay what I have to pay I do try and contribute to the household um, we kind of split the groceries but he basically takes care of the majority of it and I just pay what I have to pay. Uh, we decide every household is different. I will that's my disclaimer. At one point I paid the mortgage when we had a other house before I got really, really bad in debt and all that bad good stuff. Um, my husband paid the mortgage. I mean I paid the mortgage, he paid the utilities. That worked for us. So once my business kind of sky skydived, he we moved we got another house. He pays everything. And that was to allow me to get on my feet. Well, I'm getting on my feet. And so, 
I'm sure it's stressful. I'm not going to go into this long thing, but I try not to put that much stress on him. So I try to contribute when I can, but I will be a liar if I said I don't enjoy <laughs> like having my money to myself. But I do, again, contribute when I can. And um, I wanted to, my goal was to get to the point where I could at least give him half on the mortgage. You know what I'm saying? Or at least $800 a month. That's mortgage and maybe a bill. So he did give me the water bill and the gas bill and our ADT bill but I just haven't been able to do it because I got some tax mess going on and hold on I got some tax mess going on so here we are so let's close out this budget so that's just a little disclaimer for everyone who's new now I'm gonna show you guys something real quick because I'm self-employed, so this is the end of the month for me. These past two days, I was off. I was in Atlanta until Wednesday. I came back to work on Wednesday. And that's something new that I'm going to start doing is um, when I'm going out of town, try to plan ahead. That's something that I currently don't do. That's why I like to watch other budgeting videos. So even though I don't get a salary... Um, it gives me ideas. So, Wednesday was my first day back to work, and I made, let me find the, um, y'all, this video may be long, but it's okay. We're going to get through it. So, I'm going to use some boxes here just to put in a total. So, normally, what I started doing was... I used to add up the whole week, and that would just end out my October, but I realized that wasn't right because... For me, being self-employed, October ends on the 31st. So I need to end out my budget there. So on Wednesday, I made... And I keep it here in my micro mini, y'all. See, I have to. I have to. So Wednesday, it was 264 Also, I've been saving my tips. That's something... That's another whole video. That's another whole video. Go get in that with the weekly check-ins. We're going back to weekly check-ins. So today's the 31st. I'll put another little box here. I like to use these for totals. Um, today, Thursday, it was a light day. I only did two people, but I got $235. So when you add these two together, I think it came out to like $4.99. My book is a little busted here, y'all, but just don't mind it. So for those two days to end out the week, and 235 Yep, $4.99. So basically my total ending. Let me whip out another little thing here. This just works for me. This just works for me. $4.99. So now we got $4.99. And then when I add in last week's total, now I gotta go. Let me look in here. I see if it's here. Last week. Should have been 1,163, and it actually was 1,100. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add in. I had an Etsy payment this week of $45.72. And plus Poshmark, they hit this week. I put them down as last week, which was 24. Oh shoot, plus four. Hold on, four ninety nine plus twenty four plus forty five point seventy two is five sixty eight. So I basically made <clears throat> five sixty eight seventy two. Those items well, I was talking about the um, Poshmark and the Etsy. They were made last week, but they didn't hit till Monday and Tuesday. So, let me, matter of fact, let me get some more of those stickers here. Um, Poshmark came on Monday for $24. And I probably could just write it in. And then Etsy... Forty-five seventy-two. 
and that was like my highest sale I know I know some people like girl that's it yeah child but I was excited <laughs> Etsy 4572 so let's see what we have for the month so we have 568 I am confused hold on because there was one of these I tell you what I can go into next week see that's why I have to have my budget like in all these different places because I have be able if I don't have it one place I have it another so last week was 1000 and I didn't include Etsy and make sure I make sure I didn't include Etsy and all that good stuff okay yeah so $1,163 And then the week ending October the 18th, 19th here was 1,082.24 plus 1,040 plus, and then that first week was 6. 77 so we made forty five hundred and thirty dollars and ninety six cents so I'm gonna hit go ahead and put this down I need another sticker I know y'all like girl yeah I need another sticker because I'm gonna have two totals here so ending on for the month I'm just going to stick it here. I'm just going to put October here. 4530.96. Because basically Friday the 1st and the 2nd goes to November's budget. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. Okay. So I have $4530.96. Now what I like to do is just kind of cross reference. Make sure that... All the numbers is adding up. So here I have $677. I got $7 from Etsy. Then we're going to do an online income. Um, $25.38. So actually I need to add $25 to this and $0.38 cent because I didn't do that. Okay. And then here I need to add 11 No, it's there. It's there. See? Had to cross reference 590 here, 1001. Oh, so I did have that there. Okay. Now I said, I guess I made it 800 for this week, but I was thinking of total. So it was only 499. I'm sorry, you guys. So it's 499. So I'm writing in both 499. And then with Etsy, I made 45. Let's wipe this out. Forty-five dollars and seventy-two cents. So, and it was five sixty-eight. So here, this should be. I'm writing it here, y'all. Four thousand five hundred fifty-six dollars and thirty-four cents. That's because I forgot some Etsy money, and I think I forgot. Nope, didn't forget it. And then over here, I'm going to put Posh. That's Poshmark. I didn't really anticipate anything. Something I've had on there for a while. Sold. I got $24. Make sure I got the right amount here. So, y'all, this is just basically how I budget being self-employed. I'm telling you, it's kind of nerve-wracking because you got to have all your... You can't forget, oh, yeah, I did spend $0.25 cent helping some girls with some Girl Scout cookies. I don't know. You know, you cannot forget nothing. Five sixty-eight. Five sixty-eight seventy-two. So this is considered pretty much the fifth week in October. So let's get a total. Again, let's make sure the totals add up. 68.9 plus... 1,082, 24 plus 1,065.38 plus 677. Now, I don't know why, but always the first of the month is a little slow. So I got 4,500 
See here, it says 62. Where here, I had 55. See? 562. 30. So, now, what I like to do... I guess I can keep that open. I go back to here where it says income. Poshmark, I had guesstimated zero. I guesstimated 60 from um, Etsy. This is my half month mark. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. This is my half month mark. So I ended up making $24 for the month from Posh. Can you guys see? Let me zoom in. There we go. And then let me go check out my Etsy real quick. So for the month of October, I made $87.65. I'm going to go back and do my own math. I guesstimated making... Now this is... I think that's with the fees and everything taken out, I believe. Um, hair. My main source of income, which is hair. So here, halfway through the month, I had made $2,781. Um, I thought I might have been a little bit over that, but at any rate, not thinking that I was going to be out of work for a couple of days, which those days were kind of my off days anyway. So I ended up making the 4000 $562.30. Oh, that wasn't from here. Shoot. See, that's why I be getting confused. I got to subtract. Ah. That's with everything. Oh, my goodness. Let me go back. Y'all, I'm sorry. Now I got to go back. So, if my Etsy is right, so I'm just going to calculate here at this point. Is 670 that's hair plus 1040 plus 1071 plus 1163 dollars plus 499 so it was 4400 so our numbers should match up let's hope they do And if they don't, this doesn't include fees. $4,443.00. So let's add this $8765. $4530. And then we have Posh. $24. So that's about right. Plus $24. Yes. Here is our total. $4,554.65 and the reason it's off by like a dollar or so from what I accumulated because in I got a refund back I forgot I got a refund back like of three dollars from I bought an extra meal and I didn't need it so this is what I made for the month of October $4,554 let's see what got paid so y'all, I already know I'm missing some money. Don't ask me where it is. I don't never know. So y'all, it's amazing how I started in this book, but I ended up in my deluxe. So we're just gonna stay in the deluxe. Let's just stay in the deluxe because I think it's big enough for you all to see. Let me get my little. Um, I think this is the right one. So car insurance ended up being one eighty eight forty. This is not the right one. Uh, we did finish the sale bill out. I just paid them today on the 31st. Loan number one, it was a no. <laughs> it was a negative. I didn't do that. Loan number one, though, luckily is to my husband. So I don't get a late fee or none of that. And I think he just was 11 on me and gifted me not to pay this time. So that was it. Um, let me go down here and make sure everything is correct. So, if this is correct, minus 100. We, I'm going to double check because, y'all, I noticed, like, when I go back and do my videos and I'm looking at me budgeting, I'm just, like, missing some numbers. And I'm like, nobody caught that. See how I just thought I put in 181 and I actually only put in 8160? So... 
and I don't catch it till the video, so I'll be off, so I gotta pay attention. So that's 18160. My car note is basic 36320. Um, car insurance. So we saved some money there. Um, that was 18840, where it used to be 230. I don't know what's happened. Um, I've had my car in this insurance for a year next month. So maybe, I don't know. I gave Citibank $30. I will be upping them next month. Um, Capital One, it says I gave them 50. And I actually gave them an extra $33 because I ended up so it ended up being 88 let me add this 33 uh, Apple Aflac they got their 30 schedule is 20 uh, the gym they got in the month of October Thirty nine ninety nine. Oh, they got thirty nine ninety nine plus nineteen ninety nine for me. Uh, GoDaddy, I'm will be canceling that soon because I know it's five dollars, but I can use that somewhere else. My sale bill today, I paid two ninety one. I think fifty seven. They added a pay over the phone fee of eight dollars plus I got a late fee I'm gonna try to take care of that um, my booth rent um, I pay my last one so I basically pay 840 yeah so and then because this new booth rent will be for the month of November uh, Wayfair I think I gave them forty dollars or sixty six I gave them sixty six dollars because I paid them off and then I didn't do Simply Gilded. I'm just going to wipe them clean out. So I know next month not to even look at that because I don't have them anymore. And loan number two, I did pay them and I actually paid them more. I paid extra on my loan. But I can't remember. I think I paid... Somebody got an extra 42 I think I gave them an extra $42. Somebody got 42 so it don't matter. Um, and then Victoria's Secrets, I have down here 65 I can't, I think I, mm, I might have given them 65 Got to remember. It's checked off though. So I ended up paying 2100 2198 $2 $2 $2 $2 $2 $2 $2 dollars um, I do buy groceries. I do buy gas. I don't include that in. These are just the main things that I need. Y'all, I got makeup on my hands. Excuse me. These are the main things that I need to live. You know, of course, I need groceries, but again, my husband takes care of that. Health insurance, all that good stuff. I just make sure that I can drive. I can pay my own car and life insurance. Um, and all these other little things I can afford to do. So now... I'm going into my petite to like double balance. This just works for me. I mean, it may not work for everybody. This may be too much for, for some other people. But this is just what works for me. Um, because that keeps me accountable. So, I have to go back and look at my income. So, for hair, it ended up being... $4,443. So I knew my income had grew a little bit in the hair department. Um, Etsy, I guesstimated $150, but I ended up making $87.65 and $24 from Posh. I'm just going to put Posh here. And the total ended up being $4,554.65. Um, I did do cash envelopes. This is a whole thing in itself with me and cash envelopes. So, what I've decided to do is save my tips and then possibly go back and put those in cash envelopes, if that makes sense. Because a lot of times when you're getting paid every day, you realize, oh, I need some toilet paper, oh, I need some soap, oh, I need deodorant, uh, personal items, and you just get them because you have the cash on hand. So... A lot of times it's too late for me <laughs> when it comes to uh, 
the cash envelopes. I've already done it, okay? So I gotta figure out a new system that works best for me in that. So right now, I have come to the conclusion that saving my tips, it works. Let me save my tips, and then I'll divide them up maybe like at the end of the month, see how many tips, you know, my tips add up for the week. And then at the end of the month, a certain portion, mainly a majority of it would go to savings, and then a certain portion to maybe cash envelopes to start me on to the next month. So I definitely will start that in November. Okay, so looking here, oh, and see on here, I forgot too, buddy. So see here. Two, buddy. State taxes is in this budget. So there's that extra hundred that's floating around. Y'all, this is why I have to budget in more than one place. Because when I'm out and about and I have this with me and I, something comes to mind, oh yeah, I owe state taxes. You understand what I'm saying? So that wasn't in this budget. So I'm going, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So see now, I have to add it here. I'm telling y'all, that's why I have to double and triple check because, and that's how I forgot my, well, it's not how I forgot, how I kind of forgot Victoria's Secret. See, Victoria's Secret is not nowhere on here. Oh, yes, it is it's right there. I forgot Victoria's Secrets, and that's how I got that late fee. So, I got to have it in every possible place in order for me to stick to it and being accountable to you guys. So, we have basically closed out the month of, let me double cross check over here. We did $4.99. Um, posh. We did, I wasn't expecting anything. We did $24. And then Etsy. So I tried something different. I thought I was getting $25. And then $45.72. And then what was our total? Um... I tried something different of like checking in midweek and I think I got that from um, E. Michelle and I kind of like mid-month and I kind of like that 568.72 and I kind of like that checking in mid-month and putting it where actual goes and then finishing out the month and putting it at the plus or minus. So I did kind of like that because it kind of showed me why I need to slow down and spending because y'all I did halt a lot of spending when I got there and realized I had nothing really to show for this two thousand something dollars it I was like up oh, oh. so that works for me that's why I like watching other bit budgeting videos because you can pick up something that you may not be doing and by me being self employed it's very very hard to save it's very very hard to like sometimes come up with a budget because you're getting that money on an everyday basis. So if you are not self-employed, um, be a little easy on the people who are self-employed and they kind of blow their money because sometimes they just have not developed a budget plan for their money. I'm getting it. I'm 40 plus and I'm just now getting it. So it takes some people longer than others. So this is um, November. So October is closed out and we made a whopping... Four thousand five hundred fifty-four. Oh, Yoshida, what in the world is going on with you? And I do not like white out like that. Like I don't like to keep writing over it. Four thousand five hundred fifty-four dollars and sixty-five cent. This is what I made. So what I like to do when you subtract that from that, like these are all my expenses. And I didn't even, I did save 200 but I ended up using that. So, hold on. So, this is pretty much what I really spent. I'm going to add an extra 100 because it was something I forgot that state taxes. Okay. And then you subtract that from the $4,554.65. Where is this? <laughs> Where is this $2,256.52? Now, yes, okay, I bought some miscellaneous stuff. I bought grocery. I spend about um, $100 on household stuff. I love plugins. I caught it caught, catch off, cut off this time. So, yeah, but I didn't spend $2,000 worth of that on that stuff. So, that's why I like to close out my budget because, y'all, now I did go out of town with some of this, but that was part of my savings, which is about a hundred or two hundred dollars. So I still need to find this money. So we're gonna find this money in November's budget. We're gonna keep a close eye on where our money is going. Um, I have some new strategies for my budget. Um, something I realized 
as I pack up, I'm going to talk to you guys. Something that I realized in my budgeting um, is that I spend a lot of money on out to eat. I'm not even going to lie. So a lot of that is out to eat, you guys. I can't even sit here in front. Um, and I'm not going to even lie to you. So I realized I got to ring in my eating out. Um, number two is that cell phone bill. That cell phone bill is just... I just don't understand. It's ridiculous. So, what I realized with my cell phone bill, me and my daughter both have watches. We both have cell phones. Her phone is, I think, is about to be paid off. So, what I'm going to do is pay off this little extra stuff on my cell bill so that I can get that down. And the eating out, I've kind of cut back a lot on my eating out. Um, but I have not going to say a lot. I just started kind of like the past week or so just cutting back on my um eating out you guys that's it we've closed out october i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it also gave you a little more insight of how i budget being self-employed um i think i've done a budget series on for the self-employed and i thought that would help a lot out but i think i should have reworded it and so I'm not going to do another series, but I'm going to do another uh, budget video on inconsistent income. I think that's great for entrepreneurs. And I believe that we have a lot of uh, millennials who are entrepreneurs and they don't know how to manage that inconsistent money. So I would love to help you out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.